everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to turn any image into a pixel art image. Today's video is only about turning regular images into pixel art. If you would like to learn how to create a pixel art activity, you can check out my pixel art activity video. So let's begin. So here's the image that I've decided to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this image. Once I have the screenshot of my image, I am going to go to this website called Pictopat. Okay, so what Pictopat is, it's a cross-stitching website. It will turn any image into cross-stitch pattern. So what you would do is you would basically choose the file you want to upload onto their site. What I like about Pictopat is there's no sign-on required, there's no download required, and it's very user-friendly. The first thing you want to do is select your image file. This website will pretty much process all image formats, whether it's a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG. So I'm going to choose the file from my desktop. Once I have chosen the file from my desktop, I will click Next. So this is the file image that I have chosen. From here, it will give me a default size that's the smallest that they have. And I will see if I like that image. So I'm going to click Next. The original image was a, a more complex image. So the smallest size they have is kind of blurry. So this image I don't like. So I can go back and fix the image. I may want to try a size that's a little bit bigger. I like this image a little bit better. I can also see if I want to change other settings to see if there's a better picture that I like. So I can go click back. I might try changing the floss brand. I can also change the stitches per inch. Okay, so this is a little bit more detailed. Once I find the image that I like, I can either take a screenshot of that image or I can download that image. To download the image, you just click on the image that you like. So the downloaded version will give you the cross-stitch pattern for that image. You can then take this and use that as a guide to help you create your pixel art images.